All right, get ready because MetaQuest is about to take a huge leap forward. And it all starts with Horizon OS version 83. We're going to dive in and unpack how this update is set to completely change the game for how we interact with virtual and mixed reality. And listen, that is not an exaggeration. We're not just talking about some minor tweaks here and there. Nope, this is a massive foundational shift in three key areas. How you navigate the interface, how the headset actually understands your room, and how it connects to all your other devices. So. Let's get right into it. Okay, but first, a quick heads up. Version 83 is currently on what's called the Public Test Channel, or PTC. So what does that mean for you? Well, it means we're getting an awesome early look into the future of the OS, but it also means some of these features could change or evolve before the final stable release. Think of it as a true sneak peek. So the first thing you're gonna notice, and trust me, it's a dramatic change, is a complete overhaul of the core user interface. It's time to say goodbye to the old system and hello to the brand new Navigator UI. And wow, the difference is just night and day. You remember that old horizontal bar, right, with its opaque background? It always felt kind of clunky and really broke your immersion. Well, the new Navigator completely replaces it with this sleek, unified overlay. It even uses adaptive dimming, which is super cool because it keeps you connected to your environment while putting all your controls right where you need them. You can really think of the new Navigator as your personal command center. I mean, everything from your library to your settings is now in one spot. And get this, you can pin up to 10 of your favorite apps for quick access. It's kind of like a start menu for your headset. There are also these new dedicated tabs for people and you, and Worlds now has its own direct access point. But honestly, the best part? Your 2D windows finally stay put when you open a menu. It's such a huge quality of life improvement. And you know those moments when you just want to clear everything and get a clean view? Well, there's a brilliant new shortcut for that. You can hide all your windows instantly with a quick double press of the meta button. Or if you're going controller free with hand tracking, just open your palm and double tap your thumb and index finger together. It's so simple and incredibly intuitive. So at the end of the day, this isn't just a cosmetic update, not at all. The Navigator UI is really designed to make your entire experience way more seamless and efficient. It's all about making your journey through Horizon OS cleaner, faster, and just smarter. Okay, but this new OS isn't just changing what you see. It's changing what the headset itself perceives. Seriously, version 83 brings these massive improvements to how your quest understands the physical world around you. And that leads us to our second big pillar, Enhanced Scene Understanding. So, what is scene understanding? Well, in simple terms, it's basically the headset's spatial awareness. It creates this super detailed, live 3D map of your room. And it's not just seeing obstacles anymore, it's truly understanding the layout and all the different objects within it. And with version 83, that awareness just gets so much more sophisticated. Your quest can now map really complex details, things like sloped ceilings, interior walls, and even floors that are on different levels. The surface recognition for stuff like tables and shelves is also way more accurate. For mixed reality, this is an absolute game changer. So why does any of this matter, right? Well, this deeper understanding goes way beyond just your safety boundaries. It lets developers create apps where virtual objects can interact realistically with your actual space. Just imagine it, a virtual ball bouncing correctly off your actual sloped ceiling, or a game character that can intelligently navigate around your real furniture. That's the future we're talking about. The goal here is pretty clear, isn't it? It's all about erasing that line between the real and the virtual. With these enhancements, your room stops being just a play space, and it becomes a truly integrated, interactive part of the whole experience. All right, next up, let's talk about bridging the gap between your headset and your phone. Because let's be honest, one of the most tedious things in VR is trying to type in passwords, right? Well, V83 introduces a new experimental feature that aims to solve exactly that. And the process is just wonderfully simple. Say you hit a login screen on a website inside your quest. Instead of typing, you'll just get a notification on your phone. You just tap it, authenticate like you normally would, and boom, you're logged in back in VR. No more fumbling around with those virtual keyboards. Now you do have to keep in mind, this is still an experimental feature. For now, it's supported on platforms like Roblox and TikTok. The potential for this to become a web standard is, you know, huge, but for right now, it's limited to just these specific partners. 
So, to wrap it all up, Horizon OS version 83 really stands on three major pillars of progress. First, you've got that completely redesigned and unified Navigator UI that just streamlines your whole experience. Second, there's that much deeper, more nuanced understanding of your physical space. And third, you have that powerful new bridge connecting your headset to your mobile devices. Put it all together, and these updates represent a massive leap forward. They're making the Quest ecosystem more intuitive, more immersive, and more interconnected than it has ever been. So if you're on the PTC, you're getting a front row seat to this evolution. The only question left is, are you ready to test the future of mixed reality?